Morning guys, I suppose this is the moment where you question your own sanity. It's what we do, I guess, as football fans. It's six o'clock in the morning. I've been up since four. Well, I woke up, funny enough, about half past three. Um, I got up at four, I thought, do you know what? I just can't afford to go back to bed because I'll uh, fall asleep because I've got to catch a coach in Newport Pagnell, uh, just outside of Milton Keynes. Uh, obviously to go up to Manchester for the earlier kickoff against Manchester United. So there we go guys, um, this is the first part of the journey and um, obviously as we all know they're, they're billing it, Mourinho versus uh, Conte. I just thought we'd do it today, I thought I was really inspired by that performance in midweek against Barcelona. If we play anything like the way we did against them, we'll win today. Um, you know, really, really fancy this. Um, but there we go. This um, long old journey, as I say, and um, on we go to the northwest. This is my first moan of the day, <laughs> but in all in all seriousness, though, I mean, it, it pisses me off. It, I mean, I'm sick of this country anyway, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't think I think it's just complete no, madness now where the liberals have taken over the asylum. You can't do this, you can't say that, you can't. It's just it's all crazy now. But here's a classic example. Yeah, you've got an empty road. Yeah, it's early morning, and you've got lanes open and uh, you've got 40 mile speed limit and yet there's no trucks, there's no nothing going on and yet you've got to stick stick to this yeah and yet if you go over what 10 percent you know you get yourself three points and a fine it could mean you get a ban another bigger fine it's just madness you know I just think all common sense is just completely Gone out the window. Right, I made the old uh, plenty of time, half an hour spare, so uh, let's have a little cheeky light. I'm right, with Johnny right now. Um, how are you feeling about the day's game, John? Oh, I think I, I think we'll we'll get a result today. What we're going to win? Yes. I'm not and bothered about the so-called experts getting it wrong. Or well, Robbie Savage. Yeah, oh yeah, him and uh, Soonis. What do you think? What do you make of all this? Mourinho Conte business and all that, is it just the press just stirring it and all I think somebody's stirring it. I mean... Uh, <laughs> they probably said their piece amongst themselves, but somebody is, somebody's just stirring it. You just know all them cameras are going to be on them a day and day when they're handshaking and yeah. all sorts of like, you know. What do you think the team will be then during the day? He'll probably, he'll, he'll probably bring back Cahill. I don't think so, mate. I think we'll stick with a tried and tested. I think it'll be the same back three. Well, it might be the same as um, it might be the same as Tuesday. Well, it, we know that Louise is out. We know that Bakayoko's out. Um, and, we know and that Bartley's out. I think Bartley's out. I think he'll, I think he'll drop fair with guess. Not drop, but I think he'll be on the bench. Yeah, I think he'll go with Danny Drinkwater ends and go to Kante. I think he'll go with a back three. Uh, uh, he might even bring. He might even start with Morata. I think he will, yeah. I think he'll yeah. Matter, yeah. So he'll, 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 have to, he'll have to sacrifice one of the midfield people. It'd, it'd have to be Pedro, wouldn't it, for you? Well, pos quite really possibly. Totally deserves yeah, I, no, his he's place, doesn't he? He's not the Williams on fire at the moment. You Absolutely. Don't, you, don't, you don't leave out your, your, your star man. Well, fair enough then, John. Nice one, buddy. So, quick score prediction today. I'll take a 2 1. 2 1. I think we'll win 2 1 and all, mate. Come on, chaps. Well, I'm at uh, Lord Keynes uh, Services and it's chocker with Man City, obviously on the way up to Wembley. And there's a bit of a loving, a bit of a blue loving, because <laughs> they're all like saying, go up there and smash United, and we're all saying, yeah, go and smash Arsenal. So it's a bit of a weird one, but of course, what's even weirder is that we should actually be at Wembley right now playing them. They'd be beating Arsenal, but The only reason I know where it is is because it's down a place called Fear Borge Grove. That area. That's what I could get. 
where I've drove there and I've been I've been there by train. But the only reason I know where it is is because once I've gone past the train station. Well, you see if his last one could have Ginny, Kevin Phillips, pretty good at them. Callison is too. He doesn't miss many, Gary. Big, big moment in this match. Here goes McAllister. And Craig Ginny has saved it. McAllister hangs his head. It's still 2-0. I can't remember, he saved two penalties in one game, didn't he? Could have changed, I can't remember who. Put it out on Wednesday, Liverpool have been shouldered the heaviest workload this season of all the Premiership clubs. This is their 29th game today, and they get all the freshness and fitness that they can muster. Bullshit, I thought you'd say bullshit. <laughs> Oh really? I know a lot of people that went private, you know, like on the right. Yeah. And the times that he's been unpredictable have been the times where Billy won two, the edge of the box with Willie and Lazard, and little one two. But that goal, that goal against Brighton, Willie and Lazard. Oh, I'm covering it now, look. Another 10 years. <laughs> George has got ID. Was that Taekwondo Whitey? It's got your picture on it. Right, um, I can't mention his name, she's told me not to mention it, but the geese has got it bang on once again. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is, but um, he's gone, he basically sent me a private message and he said that in, in Gola County we'll go with Danny Drinkwater in the middle, and that's exactly what's happened with Alvara Morata up top. So, by the looks of it, um, it's same back three, uh, Rudiger, Aspilicueta. Christensen <laughs> and Gala Kante and uh, Danny Drinkwater, obviously two wing backs, Victor Moses and uh, Marcus Alonso and um, William Hazard Morata um, is uh, the forwards it's, uh, and obviously Thibaut Courtois are in goal. Oh, well, I don't know, about 45 minutes for KO uh, and uh, I'm feeling really confident because I, actually I've been quite happy with that team and I think it's a rather good team. Fabregas on the bench, am I right in saying that? Yeah, so Fabi's on the bench, so it's good with obviously Olivia Giroud, so uh, yeah, why not? Let's go, let's do this. Right, Francis, you've seen the team, are you, are you uh, confident for that? Yeah, I am actually, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the team. We've actually got a strong bench as well. And um, yeah, because we've got uh, Fabi on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Mr Giroud, obviously yeah, as well. Yeah. I think it's, we definitely um, needed to go for a striker up front this time. Um, sure? Hazard as well, although he says he can play as a striker, he's better off on the wings. It gives him much more freedom, to be absolutely honest. Um, I think, yeah, I think we'll definitely get a result out today. Wing backs, yeah, solid, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Back three in place. And do you know what? I'm not trying to be funny or anything, as much as I love Kay Hill, I'm glad he's on the bench and he's not starting. Yeah, because absolutely. Um, not slagging the geezer, but we know. No, I mean, he's done so much for the club, and he's literally won it all, but I think he's just lost the, lost the pace a bit. He's not quite as fast as he used to be. I mean, you can tell that in his legs. And um, as Big Dave, when he's in the back line, he just seems to organise the back line a bit better. Absolutely. And there's a bit more motivation from him as well. So you're confident? Yeah, I am pretty confident. I say I'll go with a 2-1 win. I'll go with 2-1 for enough. I yeah, think we'll yeah, win. definitely. No, I really yeah, Hello everyone, welcome to Chelsea's W6. So I'm just about to watch the uh, the game live now, and yeah, because I don't really have I didn't get any chance to get a ticket for the game. So uh, watching the lineups now, uh, Mourinho is going for four three three, which is kind of interesting. I was expecting him to go uh, with three had a back formation, but you know he decided to go with uh, Valencia, Lindelof, Smalling, and Young. I don't know why Bailly is not playing though, but you know what? I respect his decision. You know, I mean, I'm just a Chelsea fan, but if if I wanted to get the best out of Man United, why put in you know Lindelof uh, in there? He hasn't been that great, but he's a better player. Um, Pogba, Matic, McTominay, yeah, um, that's that's basically a pretty strong midfield. 
Sanchez, Lukaku, and Martial. I think Lukaku surprises me the most um, because he hasn't really been scoring against the top teams. And so that's maybe something for Rashford. But you know what? Um, I think when you have Sanchez, anything can happen. Um, as for Chelsea, I think the what I'm surprised about is to have Danny Drinkwater in there. Um, but, you know, anything can happen. We could have that Leicester partnership all over again. Hopefully we can. Um, William and Moses. I thought he was going to rest William and Moses um, due to their amazing performances. But, and, you know, I th since they were playing the 90 minutes, I thought, you know what, they might not play this game. They might want to rest a little bit. But, you know what, Conte decided otherwise. So, yeah, I mean... The lineup for us is Courtois, Rüdiger, Christensen, Aspilicueta, Alonso, Kante, Drinkwater, Moses, uh, Hazard, Morata, William. And on the bench, we have Caballero, Fabregas, Pedro, uh, Giroud, Zabacosta, Cahill, and Emerson. All right, the game is going to start, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> Oh yes, William, come on, come on! Yes, it's in! William has scored! Oh my god! How on earth did he score that one? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to see the replay. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. There was a free kick on the other end. William clear. I mean, slightly clears it. Moses makes a little bit of a better clearance. William controls it. Then it's Hazard. He sees the gap that William goes into. And William. Oh! I think De Gea did not see how much space there was between the post and him. William saw that and he took it. He took it and it was amazing. Oh, actually, the ball was even closer than I thought. He was, it was much closer to the goalkeeper than I thought. William, well done. You proved yourself against Barcelona. Now you've proven yourself against Man United.